What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. This is gonna be day six of Project YZE, YZ 250 electric dirt bike conversion. On the last video, we started installing Electro & Co's QS138 EMX kit, but we ran into an issue with my original rear motor mount solution. So we're gonna take the bike to my old job to have my buddy Justin weld those two aluminum tabs on the frame for me so we can wrap up the install. And here's how the welds turned out on the tabs. It penetrated pretty well once he turned up the heat on the machine a little bit more. This is certainly gonna be a lot more reliable than any bolt-on solution. So I know my QS motor is not gonna go anywhere when I twist the throttle. Now I'm gonna work on cleaning this up a little bit more, and then we're gonna put the QS138 back in and start working on the controller. I can't believe I was able to fit the EM260 controller sideways on the air box. It's definitely a snug fit. It took a lot of finagling. I had to unbolt the top of the subframe, and unbolt the air box and squeeze it in there. But it's a nice and snug fit, about a quarter inch side to side play, about an inch back and forth. I'm planning on putting some padding on the bottom side and then tying it on the top two corners. And then I'm gonna make a cover for the opening of the air box and run the wiring through the top side. Now this was a very snug fit. I was able to wrap the controller in half inch dense foam at the bottom and on all sides. Now I can have peace of mind that the controller is well protected and it's not gonna be moving around uh, when we're riding on trails. The foam also helps absorb any vibrations to keep the controller well protected. Here's how the wiring looks up close. Everything's all hooked up except for the signal wire and the two wires going to the battery. 
and everything fit inside the air box just fine. Though just to give you a heads up, these orange phase wires are very tough to bend and maneuver. So keep that in mind if you are planning on installing your controller in a tight spot like this. And here's how I have the other wiring routed going to the front side of the air box. Now I'm just gonna reinstall all the plastics on the back side and make that cover for the front side of the air box. Here's a closer look at the ABS plastic cover that I made for the front side of the air box. I just made a little outlet cutout for the wiring to go through. You can see the foam here at the bottom, still keeping it pretty sealed. I just left enough room for the two power wires to come from the battery. Here's what it looks like from the inside. The inside is a shiny part I don't really care for. The outside is a nice sleek textured plastic. And then I just secured it to the air box with one self tapper. Here's how we're looking so far. So this bike is essentially fully finished with the exception of having a battery installed. I was about to get started on fabricating the battery bracket and battery tray, but it's probably better to wait until we receive the new Amorge 40 amp hour battery that I ordered to make sure that we get all the dimensions right so we don't have to do this twice. For the meantime, I was thinking about exploring whatever is in this box that we just received. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? It may or may not be a whole new QS motor kit for this TTR, but if you are interested in checking out that video, stay tuned to the channel and make sure you turn your bell notification on. All right guys, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with the Project YZE, or any of my other projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.